I'm Ian Kelbley with Kelbley's Incorporated, and what I'd like to show you today is how to install one of our extreme duty bolt stops. So first off, we're gonna start out by taking the bolt out of the rifle, set it off to the side, and we're gonna remove the magazine. Then we're gonna take our 3 16 wrench and we're gonna remove the two action screws. Now make sure to keep the action screws separate because one's gonna be longer than the other and you don't wanna contact your bolt with the long one in the front end. Now we're gonna gently remove the stock and that'll expose the trigger housing and everything. And if you ever need to change your trigger, you can change your trigger with these two 648 screws here um, and that'll remove the entire trigger hanger group. You'll need a 50 thousandths Allen wrench. You can just unscrew the cross Allen here for the bolt stop. Now there is a spring underneath the bolt stop, so you definitely wanna be careful not to shoot that across your workbench. Now we'll need a small flathead screwdriver like this one. We're gonna remove the 648 plug screw from in front of the bolt stop here. And before you ever put the extreme duty bolt stop in, you're definitely gonna to wanna to put your bolt back into the receiver because it does fix the bolt in place. So one thing you wanna do, so when you put it in, you wanna slide it in. Make sure it's slid all the way to the back. Drop your 648 Torx screw in there. Grab your Torx wrench. Tighten that baby up. Make sure you slide the bolt stop all the way to the back of the pocket. And that's what gives the Extreme Duty bolt stop all of its rigidity. Make sure to torque it down really well, and if you travel a lot with your rifle, you're definitely gonna wanna put a little bit of Loctite or even some plumber's thread tape on there. But that gives you your extreme duty bolt stop, which is your never fail setup for your Atlas Tactical Action. We're gonna take the stock and we're gonna line it all back up. You definitely wanna be careful around the recoil lug area because you do not wanna shave the bedding inside of your stock. So what I like to do is just look over the top Line all the holes up and slowly slide it down on. Then you're going to reinstall your bottom metal hardware and your two screws. Make sure everything's lined up. Then grab your torque wrench. I'm using a Borka Tools torque wrench right now. It's a great little field pack torque wrench that you can check out. And I'm going to torque these to 57 inch pounds. I'm going to snug up the front screw first, then start on the back screw. Hold the bottom metal down and snug that up as well. Torque the back one before the front one because I want the recoil lug to be the last thing that seats down in. And once you have your torque wrench set to 55 inch pounds, put it all back together, you're ready to go out into the field. And if you have any questions or anything, please do not hesitate to contact Kelbley's. We sell the Extreme Duty Bolt Stops on their own, or you can have them with your Atlas Tactical Action or any of your Kelbley rifles off the bat. So call Kelbley's today. <laughs>